Alright guys, so I've been getting a bunch of comments lately asking which armor am I using in this video? Which armor is that in the thumbnail? So I've decided to come here and make a video on all the best end game armor, mid game armor that you can get that I've been using as well. Now this video is going to be a very simple video explained as easily as possible for you new players, you mid game players and you veteran end game players as well. And if you already know some of these locations, I'll be giving you timestamps you can skip to, but I'll be explaining it as easy as possible for easy following. Okay, so for all you players that have the Rolled Medallion, the Secret Halga Tree Medallion and the Dexus Medallion, you can skip to this part of the video. Alright, so all of you that don't know where to get these medallions, let me explain it as easy as possible. So from the first step, we're now going to go for the Dexus Medallion. From the first step, go all the way through here until you get to Fort Height. This is where you're going to find your first piece of the Dexus Medallion. The next part is going to be again from the first step take this trail all the way round until you get over here in Fort Height. This is going to be your second Dexus Medallion. They're very easy to find. It's one way all the way at the top you're going to find it. It's a very small fort. Now you have the Dexus Medallion. Now we need to find the first part of the Halga Tree Medallion. So this is actually pretty easy to find from the first step again take this left trail all the way until you get over here. The village of the Albanarix. Alright, so once we're finally here, it's gonna be quite dark inside a cave. Now, from the gray site, you wanna come up here, and then you're gonna see this guy right here. You don't actually have to kill him, but you're gonna find a pot. It's gonna be a big pot just sitting right here. You wanna hit it twice, and then this guy will pop out. Speak to him, and he'll give you the first part of the uh, secret Halga Tree medallion. And um, I've been getting a lot of comments lately asking, which armor is this? What is this? Well, it's actually pretty simple to get. And um, how do you get it? Well, let's have a look. So from the first step, this is basically the one of the most final armor that you can get in the game. From the first step, you want to go all the way around through the Grand Lift of Dexus, into the capital, through the capital, into the Forbidden Lands, through the Grand Lift of Rold, all the way around until you get to this area. Now you want to kill the Fire Giant go into the Forge of the Giants, you'll be teleported here into the Crumbling Fam Azula. Now you'll be teleported right here. It's a straight line, so you want to go through it all the way around until you get here. You're going to fight Malekith the Black Blade. You'll know when you get here because there is no other way to go. Once you kill him, you finally get this armor. It is pretty damn sweet. Now this is the only armor that I've been using just because of its looks. And I'll show you exactly the stats for this. So yeah, it's actually pretty decent armor. Obviously there are better armor with a lot more damage resistance, heavier armor. But yeah, this is the armor that I've been using. Alright, so not only do you get the armor, you actually get Malakath's Black Blade as well. Now this thing is pretty damn good. He is the, this is the sword that he uses in the boss fights as well and you can get this from the round table once finished. Now this is what it does, this is its special move. Um, pretty good. Now that actually the final bit does cause blood loss so you'll be doing damage over time to your enemies as well. And um, yeah it's a pretty good weapon and pretty nice armor too. So again, I've been getting a bunch of comments asking which armor is this? It does look pretty good, so I can see why you're asking that. Um, because of the cape as well, mainly. Um, it is pretty simple to get. The boss fight isn't as simple, though. And uh, I'll be showing you exactly how to get that. But first, let's look at the stats of it. It is pretty heavy armor, and um, it is quite good as well. Alright, so how do you get this armor? Well, we actually need to be all the way up in the mountain of the giants. Now, if you know how to get here, well, I'll show you exactly what to do. So in the Grand Lift of Rold, you want to make your way all the way through until you get here. This Castle Soul main gate. Now, in here, if you go through the castle, you're going to find the boss. Now, the boss will give you the armor set once you killed him. Alright, so once you've defeated the boss, in order to get the armor, you have to come here to the round table and speak to this NPC. And once you've done that, you want to go to purchase and you find the armor right here. Here's the veteran helmet, the chest piece, 
the gauntlets and the boots. Alright, so if you know your way to this area, you can skip to this part of the video and if you don't know, I'll show you exactly where to go from the lift. Okay, so this is where we're going to find the second part of the Halga Tree Medallion. Once you've killed the boss for this armor set, come through and you're going to find it up here. It's kind of hidden, but it's pretty easy to find once you know where it is. So come up this lift and it's actually just sitting by an NPC up here. All right, go up these steps, turn left, and it's actually just going to be sitting right there. Once you've found that, we can now finally go for the next armor set. The next armor set we're going to be going for is the Black Knife armor set. One of the nicest looking armor sets in the game and there's something very special about this armor when you have the whole thing equipped. Now I'm going to run around and ask you if you can basically see what's so special. Alright so did you notice something about this armor set? Well it makes zero noise. There is not a single sound that comes out of this armor when you have it all equipped. So here's an enemy right here. I'm just going to run around, jump behind him, do as much noise as I possibly can. And he just won't even know that I'm here. He is completely... He, he, he doesn't even know what's happening. Alright, so let's have a look at the stats and I'll show you exactly where to find this. Alright, so for this armor set, we need to be in the mountain top of the giants, and you want to be over here in the Ordina Lutrical Town. Okay, so for all of you that know where this place is and know how to get here, you can skip to this part of the video and I'll show you where the armor is. And for all of you that don't know how to get here, well, let's continue. Alright, so for all of you that don't know how to get to this area, once you've gotten both uh, Halga Tree medallions, you want to come back to Fort of the uh, Grand Lift of Rold, okay? Now we need to go back here, but we're not going to be using the first medallion. We have to use the second medallion by switching. Okay, so you want to switch medallion and use the secrets medallion. All right, and once we're at the top, follow exactly where I go and I'll show you where to find this place. Okay, so once we're here, it's a bit difficult to show you where to go, but we're going to go straight north in a straight line. Don't make any turns. Obviously, just be careful of drops and stuff like that, and uh, you should be fine. But we are going to be going in a straight line. Okay, so once you've made it to the frozen liver, uh, the river, you're going to find the map fragment for this area. It's going to be literally right here. Once you've picked it up, you finally now have this map unlocked and the town is going to be just here. Okay, so just put a map marker and just go straight towards it. And there you go. We are finally here. So 
So for the next armor we're going to be going for, you actually get two for the price of one. We're going to be getting Azur's armor sets and also Lucette's armor sets. Now these are from Majors, so all your Majors out there, these are two of definitely the best armor you want to get. And the quest line is actually very, very easy. So firstly, this quest starts from the first step. You want to go right and you want to find this place here, the Waypoint Ruins. Alright, so once we are at the Waypoint Ruins, there's going to be an underground tunnel or actually a dungeon in fact, and you want to go in here. There is going to be a boss, he shouldn't be too difficult, just kill him and then we'll go from there. Alright, so once he's killed, you want to go through this gate and speak to Selen. We are going to be doing her questline. Alright, so once you've spoken to her, now we can move on to the second step. There is a grey site here, so make sure you pick that up just to make this quest even faster. Okay, so next we have to actually make our way all the way up here near the Volcano Manor. We actually need to find Primeval Sorcerer Azur. Now to find this place, it's actually not that difficult. So, we're gonna start from the Grand Lift of Dexus and I'll show you exactly where to find him. And if you already know where to find him, just skip to this part of the video and continue on. Okay, so once you've come out the Grand Lift of Dexus, you wanna turn left and go exactly where I go. Alright, now that we are here, there's going to be a grey site we can actually take so we can remove all these enemies off us and we'll continue from the quest line. So here is Azur just sitting here. He won't say a single word to you, but just talk to him and then he will give you the spell Comet Azur. There we go. We have that now. Now we actually have to return to Selen and she's again located all the way over here by the... Um, Waypoint Ruins. So let's go there. Okay, now that we're here, we have to speak to Selen once more. And you want to show Azur's sorcery. Alright, so once done, you're going to get Selen Sealbreaker. Okay? And in order to get that, all you have to do is just keep talking to her and do all about... Uh, do all her quest um, talking points, okay? So once you've done that and she has nothing else to say, we can continue on. Okay. So now once we've spoken to her and we have the lead on Lusat, then now we can continue on. We have to find the wizard Lusat. Alright, and to find Lusat, he's actually located in Kaled, all the way over here by Fort Faroff in the Celia Hideaway. So let's go there. Alright, and the best way to actually find this place is to come to Fort Faroff and go where I go because there's actually a secret gateway that we have to find and it can get kind of confusing but I'll show you exactly where that is. So again, follow where I go. Alright, so once we are here now in the graveyard, there's going to be an enemy around here. Just kill him, he shouldn't be too difficult, like him right here. So we'll just get rid of him quickly. Alright, now that he's dead, there's a secret gateway over here. And it's actually located somewhere around here. There we go. It's literally just behind this. Look straight forward and it's right there. Alright, so now that we are in Celia Hideaway, let's go and find Lusat.
Okay, now that we're down here, hopefully that was easy to follow. We have to use the key to go through this portal way type thing. And now Lusat will actually be sitting right here. So speak to him again. He won't say a single thing. And then you'll get his special spell. All right, now that we have Stars of Ruin, now we actually have to go back again to Celia again at the Waypoint Ruins. All right, so once we're here, speak to Celia again and tell her about Lusat. Okay, now you're going to tell her about the request that she has and she's going to tell you that her body is imprisoned in a cellar. So we have to go and find that. And her body is actually located in the Witchbane Ruins near the 4th Church of Marika. Now where is that located? Well, from the first step, just come down this trail below, turn left and you'll be able to find it right over here. Alright, so once we're finally in the Witchbane Ruins, you want to come over here and you're going to find an underground dungeon once again. Let's go down and you're going to finally find Celia, his body, just standing there, shackled up. I just realized I keep calling her Celia. Her name is Selen. It's Selen. Why do I keep saying Celia? Alright, so you want to rip her soul out of her body. And once we've done that, we can finally move on to the next part of the quest. Alright, once you've spoken to her and she's just repeating her dialogue, we have to move on. So we basically now have to find her a new body. And where is that located? Well, all the way up here near Princess or oh, Witch Ranny's Rise. Okay, so you want to come over here. Okay, so once we're finally outside of Witch Ranny's house, follow where I go and we'll finally find the next part of the quest. Okay, so once you're here, there's going to be a secret doorway. Just hit it with your sword and you'll be able to find it. Alright, so once you've spoken to her and she tells you to learn some spells, we can move on. For the next part, we actually have to go all the way over here to the chamber outside of the plaza where you fight, uh, where you actually fight Radon, okay? So we have to go here and speak to the announcer. Okay, so once we're here, you're gonna find him just sitting on the chair. You wanna speak to him and finish off his dialogue. Okay, so once that's done and you've spoken to him, we have to go back now all the way down here to the Witchbane Ruins once more. Alright, so once we're here, you're gonna find the announcer and Celia's body. So let's speak to him. Okay, so once you finally spoke to him, now we have to make our way all the way inside the academy. Alright, so if you don't know how to get into the Rhea Lucaria Grand Library, it's pretty simple to get in here. So over here, you're gonna find a dragon and behind him, there's gonna be a key. Once you have that key, come over here to, Rhea Le to South Rhea Lucaria Gate and you finally make your way inside the academy. Now, once you make your way into the academy, there's going to be a boss in this area here. Once you kill them, then you can finally continue. All right, and this is the boss that I'm talking about. Once you kill her, you can finally move on. And outside of the gate over here, you're going to have two choices. Okay, you're going to have this choice over here, a red one. And you're gonna have this choice here, a yellow one. Okay, so the choice is pretty simple here. You can either kill Selen or help Selen. What you wanna do is just help Selen because you don't actually gain anything by killing her, but you do gain something by helping her. So let's do this final part. All right, now he is finally dead. Speaking to her, you get the Glenstone Chris. Okay, now we are finally finished. And how do you get this armor? Well. You want to go back to Azur to find his armor. So once you're here, Azur will be gone and you can pick up this to get his entire set. And to find Lusat's armor, you will need to go back to Celia Hideaway. All right, and back to where Lusat is, you can pick up his armor here and you're finally finished. Now you have both of the best armor in the game for mages. Alright, for the next armor set we're going to be going for is the White Witch Robe Armor. This is for all you mages out there and it's a pretty good one as well. This is the armor that Rani wears. So it's a pretty good one. So what I'm going to tell you to do for this armor, because it's quite of a lengthy quest line. Watch this video that I uploaded on how to get the Dragon Scale Blade. 
I'll show you the entire quest from step by step. But you only have to do it until step 10. The entire quest line is that video basically, and at the end, you'll be able to get this armor set. Alright, so once you have done that quest, all you have to do is just come over to where Rani is located, or go to this other tower, and climb all the way up the ladder, and behind it, you find this chest. And once you open up and you grab whatever's in there, you get the entire Snow Witch robe, uh, skirt, and the hat itself, and there you go. That is how you get this armor. For the next armor is going to be the final armor for mages and then we'll go back to you other swordsmen. So this armor is the Alberic Mage armor and it's actually pretty simple to get, one of the easiest ones to get. So you want to come to the West Capital Rampant in the capital. Now all of you should know how to get here by now like I told you from the Grand Lift of Dexus, come around into your inside. Now once you are in the West Capital Rampant, you want to come this way and exactly under here we'll be able to find the armor just sitting actually it's pretty easy to get all right and literally just in here at the very end on this corpse is the armor set and it's a pretty good one too it's actually one of the better armor sets for you mages out there all right and that's how you get this armor so let's have a look at the stats and it does look pretty good it's probably my favorite armor for mages out there because it, it, I mean, it looks pretty damn good. Alright, so for this armor, it's called the Zamo armor. This is a pretty good one and not a lot of people even know about this because it's kind of tricky to even get it. And uh, well, where do we have to go? It's actually in the mountaintop of the giant and it's actually located right here in the giant conquering hero's grave now you may think you can go from the rolled lift just straight there but it's not that simple i'm going to show you a map that i've made to make it easy to follow but basically we have to start here at the grand lift of rolled and make our way all the way around the entire mountain top until we reach this point all right so once we are finally over here like i showed you on how to get here i tried to make it as simple as possible hopefully that helped so anyway, so once we are up to this point of the map, follow exactly where I go and we'll be able to get this armor set. It's an easy one to get, but it's also very hard, uh, sorry, easy to miss because of how tricky it is. Alright, now we have the Grey site. We are actually located in the giant conquering hero's grave. Alright, so once we are in the giant conquering hero's grave, hopefully that was easy to follow and to follow exactly what I'm doing here. Um, this can get a bit tricky for some people, but I try and make it simple. So we'll jump through this window. You don't have to worry about any of the enemies around here. Now there is a fire trap here, but it should be turned off for you. If it's not turned off, just hit it with your sword and it should turn off. Okay, now we have to go down this lift. Alright, now we are basically at the end and there's going to be a shadow giant just sitting there. You can't do damage to him. So what you have to do is step on this lift and then jump back off it. Alright, now the light will shine against this. And this is turned on now. So we have to get the aggro of the giant towards us and get him in that panel for us to do damage to him. Alright, so we have him here now. And he's finally vulnerable. Now we can damage him and take him out. Alright, somewhere a heavy door has opened. Well, where is that door? It's just there. And we are done with this puzzle. Um, it can't... It's a bit of a tricky one. A lot of people may not know how to do this and especially how to get this armor because it's, you know, kind of confusing. But here we go. At the end now, we have to fight another boss until we get the armor. There we go. I didn't even take a single hit from that guy. And there we go. We get 
the sword, and the full armor set. Alright, and here are the stats for the full armor. All right, and that is pretty much it for this armor set. It's a really, really good one. It's definitely unique and not a lot of people may have this armor. So you can boast about that to your friends and you can basically show them on how to get it themselves. And that is it. Definitely a nice looking armor. All right, and for the final armor we're going to be going for is Melania's armor. Now, this is very, very popular because it's one of the ones that have been shown with Elden Ring in the trailers and stuff. And it's probably the hardest armor to get in the entire game because this is considered one of the hardest bosses in the Souls series ever. So, how do we get this armor? Come to Ordinia Town once again. You guys know already how to get here because I showed you. So this is kind of a weird puzzle that we have to do, but it's easy. I'll show you exactly how to do it. And uh, we need to come over here to even get it started, okay? All right, so come over here and examine this. And then you have to enter the Evergoal. Okay, once you have done that, you have to light four different fires. I can't actually go in here because I've already done it, but I'll show you exactly which way to do it. So you're going to start here when you teleport and you want to come down this way. All right, up here will be the first fire you have to light. Now, once you've done that, you want to turn around and just drop over here. Come down this way, and the second one is just over here. Alright, so up here will be the second one. Pretty easy to get to. Now we have to do two more. So follow exactly where I go for the next one. Alright, so from the spawn point, the first one is actually very close to us. So follow again. Okay, now here is the next one. Once you've lit that, we have to do the final one, and that is actually located just over there. All right, and this is the final one. It doesn't matter which way that you do it, just light all of them up. Don't worry if you die, you will still have to uh, come back and do them again. Not all of them, but just the ones that you've missed out on. So once you've done that, and then this gateway now will be open so we can finally teleport to the next part of the map, which is actually one of my favorite parts of the game itself. All right, so you spawn back here and where we have to go is actually just behind us. So turn around and come up here. All right, now. Just follow exactly where I go. I'm not going to be talking for a while just so you can follow exactly where I'm going and I'll see you at the very end. Alright, so once you reach this point, there will be a boss fight that you have to kill. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult, you actually get some pretty good armor from him as well. I'll quickly show you the armor that you're going to get from him. It's this armor right here, the Royal Knight. It does look pretty good, you get the entire set. But anyway, let's continue on to Melania. So if you do come up here, there's actually a chest over the end and it gives you a smithing stone, the final one required to upgrade your weapon to its full potential. But anyway, we're going to take this lift down.
All right, over here, the lift will already be here for you, but for me, it's not, so I have to just wait for it. But anyway, we're basically almost at the boss fight itself, so let's just take this down, and we are finally at the end. All right, so now we are here. This is the gray site that you will be for the next 10 days, trying to kill this boss in here. Now, this is at the end when you kill her, you go to the round table as before, as like any other armor from any boss. Um, you pick it up from the round table for some runes, and that is it. That is how you get the final armor for this video. And let me tell you, it's a pretty good looking armor set. Yep, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I actually forgot to mention, you also get the weapon from her too, which is a pretty good weapon as well. It's uh, pretty unique, definitely a good one to have. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.